How many times have you done it this week? Like heaps, heaps. I do heaps of times. All right, like a few times a day. I mean, I'm not gonna go it totally. I know. Yet, we want to get the the drift. All right. So the method that we're uh, using to make bricks today is called water striking or slot molding. And it's a wooden mold that's been soaked in water so that it's fully hydrated. And that allows for a clean release uh, because the wood does not absorb any moisture from the material. So the mud is super wet and that's so it goes in the mold uh, easily. If the clay was stiffer, it, uh, you know, you would have to sort of mallet it in a little bit. Like I'm able to just kind of kind of slop it in there. It's like clay. Yeah, in the so mud. this is Maryland clay yeah. from Perryville outside of the Proving Grounds and up there by Haverty Grace. I like the Proving Grounds. Mm. It's where they blow the missiles up. Uh, yeah, mixed with a little bit of sand. from the Stancil's mine. So you mixed it? Yeah, so when we get it, it comes to us, it looks like this. Is so it? then we, we dry, we, we uh, mix it with water and I have a big drill, so we drill it up like a big milkshake. But sometimes you find the pl clay and it's already kind of soft, right? Well, the thing is, is when we get it, it is, it does have moisture in it. But we actually want to totally dry it out first because clay has this weird property where if there's already some moisture in it, it won't actually fully slake down. Uh, so then this is the strike bar. This is what we strike the bricks with. You call that strike? Yeah, or scree. So that makes for a nice, smooth, um, and then this is the fun part. The mold comes off immediately. And if we've done everything right, it should just release right off, leaving six really smooth formed bricks. Presto! Wow. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Nice work. Thanks. That's cool. Beautiful. Natural. Awesome. So if I had a bunch of mud, I could probably do a bunch and, and a bunch of boards. I could probably do a thousand of these in about eight hours. Wow. Hmm. And then they dry? They go over there in the sun? Yeah, it'll take a uh, day or two days, three days, depending on the weather. Before you can stamp them. Right. Yeah, because they're super wet right now. You can tell by yeah, brick somebody, over there. Somebody fell in one. Yeah, that would be my daughter. <laughs> she stepped in it. It's all about her. Yeah. That's great. So when I first started learning how to do this, though, I, the, the tendency is to want to think that the clay is, is not that soft. Like I was like, I would like, I read somewhere that it, you needed really soft clay, and, but I was trying to use like pottery consistency yeah. and soft. Yeah, like that's like the that's like this, frosting. Totally. It's not even... Like if you took this board and jiggled it, yeah. these would all it would just become a mud. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's really wet. Yeah, like that's the stuff you throw onto your wedging table and wait and come back in two days and wedge it. Totally. But it's 